Hello class, this is the first lecture for 5-2. We are starting a new chapter on combining sinusoids. So what that means is that in real life, you never have anything that is just a perfect sine wave of just, you know, these notes that are just absolutely perfect. If you, if you hear one of these perfect notes from like an oscilloscope or something, it's just kind of weird and doesn't, make any sense to your ear. It's not, doesn't sound natural. Real life, most things are made up of lots of sounds coming together. Even the most pure sounding kind of thing, apart from machine generated stuff, has some combination of various different sines and cosine waves overlapping. So, the first thing that we're going to learn what to do is how to combine uh, cosine waves. So remember, cosine starts high and then we're gonna be able to add that to a sine wave. And where does sine start? Does it start low? No, it starts in the middle and goes on like that. Now, of course, these all go on for forever. These are trig functions that just never stop, but they do have an amplitude. There is gonna be some kind of height B for this, uh, this cosine wave. And then there's going to be some height C for this uh, sine wave, and those are negative. So then that's going to be C sine X. Okay, so now how do we add these together? Well, like you will prove in the homework, in the classwork assignment, uh, they will make a cosine wave, but you can see that visually as well. So the, the question then is, what is the uh, amplitude of this resulting cosine wave? And then what is the displacement? How much has it been moved left or right? When we smush these together, where, how tall is the cosine wave and how left and right is the cosine wave? So the thing to see is that the resulting height of the cosine wave is just Pythagoras done with the other two heights. So you look over here at these numbers for the cosine and for the sine, and you say how, um, if those were legs of a right triangle, how long would the hypotenuse be? So that's a pretty straightforward question. And then you say, well, if these were, if these are the sides of a triangle, so you're thinking of, you've got a triangle over here with uh, C and B, then we're finding A, which is as if it's the hypotenuse, and then D turns out to be that angle in there. So if you, if you wanna find D, what trig function involves opposite and adjacent? It's tangent. So we've got the sides and we want the angle, so we want arctangent. So arctangent C over B will get us that. Is that too abstract? Does that make any sense? Let's, let's do one right here. If, if we've got one uh, cosine wave that's got a height of three, so let's, let's, do, let's do that, where it's got a height of three. So we've got three cos x for our first uh, graph. And now we need another one here. Let's do an example with a height of four. So a little bit taller, and that goes on for forever as well. These all go on for forever. So here's another one for sine x. So that's going to be uh, the two legs of our imaginary right triangle here. We're gonna have a four and a three, and if we're trying to find the hypotenuse now for our resultant combined cosine wave, then we just need to say what's three squared plus four squared. Well, three squared is nine, four squared is 16. Add those together, you get 25. Square root of that is five. And then how much have we shifted it left and right? Well, I picked one where the, the sides were nice numbers, so then the angles aren't. So if you do arc tangent, of four over three, you get a rather nasty, uh, something close to 53.1-ish, on and on and on. So we'll just go with 53 for now, so minus 53.1. So I hope you can see how easy it is to combine a cosine wave of any given height and a sine wave of any other given height to just smush them together. You just treat those coefficients as if they were parts of a right triangle and then to find the change, the displacement for this resultant cosine wave. Again, you treat it like sides of a right triangle and you just use arctangent to find that angle. So 
I'll see you in class and we'll get to work on combining cosine and sine waves. Have a great day.